Hello and welcome to another video. So today we're going to take a look at a Artifact Maisha Portal deck. Honestly, I'm going to start off this video by saying this is not the best tech to play. I definitely have not had a, that much fun playing it. It's definitely okay. And if you're enjoying it and having a good time with it, definitely keep doing so. But personally, I've found this to be quite an awkward deck to get off the ground and get going. I've definitely preferred some of the other variants of Portal, especially for Unlimited. But this one, definitely not my favorite. I just wanted to preface the video with saying that. But now that we have said that and that we can get into the meat and potatoes of the deck, we are looking at a pretty reasonable straight up setup of artifacts and stuff. You can easily generate a absolute insane amount of artifacts and that's not a huge shock considering what's in this. But the main of course win condition is of course Hero of Purgation. It's really about it for that. If you want to win, you pretty much want to set that up, try and get it out on turn 7 or as early as possible, and really just beat them down from there. So we are going to get right into this and take a look, although the games are pretty average, so let's take a look anyway. So the first game we are going to take a look at here it goes up against, of course, Rune, which is still very popular in the Unlimited Ladder, so no real shock that that ends up being the first game we go up against here. We start off with a pretty mediocre hand, so definitely dumping the ultra plane is a good start, and getting Des X is actually a really good way to start off the game. I don't mind that at all. Getting Des, I'll take it. A scrap iron. That's definitely a good way to start things off for our opponent. We're going to go for the synthetic beam play, even without its abilities. There's at least a body that can deal with a reasonably early earth rune start. And we still get a pretty nice chance here. Instructor, so looking for more heal as well as, of course, getting in a little bit of damage. So after playing Onslaught, we'll deal with that and also allow us to, of course, trade our 2-2 to clear the board, resetting things back to the way they really should be from the beginning. And now we get our Desex Machina out on 5. Really, it's just been pushing to get that. Once we could get that to 5, we ho hopefully restock our hand and start fresh with hopefully some better cards. Which shouldn't be impossible considering what's in our hand now. Mm, that's not best, but it's definitely not bad. I can definitely potentially work with that. And the Golem play. So they're going to get, wow, triple burst damage. Now that... That is a really nice play. The gears of fate still turn. And of course, we also end up just pumping the deck with some artifacts so we can draw them out. And we can also avoid resonance this turn, which is really good because we've actually got the Biofab and now Double Ancients. So we can actually work with them along with the Augmentation to really ramp up our deck and our power quite well. Our opponent really just going wide as they can with Magic Illusionist hitting the board and of course dealing some more burn damage, leaving us with just 4 health. It's really not a lot to work with and we could die at any moment, but we're going to take those odds, we're going to throw them to the wayside and just keep going as fast as we can. So of course these artifacts are good, getting the Maisha was perfect, I really couldn't have asked for a better draw there. I'm so glad I saved the Analyzing Artifact, because now we can actually restock straight up to 7 immediately. And if we even get a decent trade here, we could do better, but unfortunately we end up with another Maisha. Not quite good enough. If I had to go another Artifact, I could have potentially at least played a couple more cards and dealt with this 2-2 without much issue and even got some potentially more damage. But dealing half the health for this turn is definitely nothing to scoff at. It is a very, very nice turn. And they're going for on the defensive now. It looks like mostly Earth Essence cards and a Magic Illusionist. That is really no threat to us. With our Accelerium on board and Analyzing's in hand, we are going to be able to take the game with the 10 damage Maisha on turn 8. Really couldn't have asked for much better. I mean, we could have went for the Augmenting Bestowal and really, really worked their board either way, but couldn't get much better than that. So the next match is Portal versus Portal. This is going to be very quick. It is a concede match. I'll give you that little bit of heads up to start with since that is going to, of course, shorten this video down reasonably. We do start off with a... 
well, mediocre to good hand, I guess. That's that's how I want to classify this one. Mediocre to good. I really did struggle with a lot of these matches with this deck, so I wouldn't recommend creating it. When you do get the big swings, like the Maisha last game, it feels really good. When you don't get those, though, this deck definitely feels bad. You just you can't can't survive when you feel that bad with it. So we get a okay little setup here to work with, at least. So we got to work this board now. Ardent Sniper, good play on their part. But we've got, you know, we've got Augmented Bestower, we've got Double H and Artifact, we've got the Mechanic. I mean, that's pretty good to kick off with. Especially with, of course, Hamlin duplicating things now. Probably shouldn't have played the Zero Drop first, that was a little bit of a bad play. Although, it's not the worst option, I guess. Since I, actually I wouldn't have been able to play anything anyway, so I had to go with the Zero Drop. But I definitely should have waited to play the Biofab, then I could have potentially got some more out of it. Ah, at least we dealt with it though, and was able to go face. So it's a good start. So in for a second Maisha, with a Hazardous Invention. So they've already wasted two of their potential win conditions, which is probably why they conceded there. I'm interested to know exactly what was in their hand, but we were probably going to take that turn pretty quickly, so it wouldn't have been a big issue. So Atlas is definitely not one of my favorite unlimited portal decks. It is okay. I'll give it at least the okay rating. Definitely some better ones out there. I would not invest in making this if you don't have the cards. If you do though, it at least it's cheap. It doesn't run many legendaries other than the three deserts, so it's got that going for it. Otherwise, I would definitely look at other portal options myself. It's definitely just not one I feel comfortable playing and recommending to you guys, but I wanted to at least show it off you know, cover it before the next expansion comes out where things will probably be shaken up again, as they always are. So if you guys did enjoy the video, hit the like button, subscribe, you'll find the deck list in the description below. Until next time guys, see ya.